Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will provide a workaround if you are using Windows 7 to install System Platform as an interaction exists between Windows 7 IPv4 duplicate address detection and the System Platform initial install. This video details a System Platform installation interaction with the Microsoft Windows 7 implementation of its IP functionality. The process to be described will use the NetSH utility to disable the duplicate address detection known as DAD or DAD on the network interface being used to install the system platform. This occurs during the initial install of system platform on a bare metal server as well as on the S8300D. It has been noted that the S8300D has a higher occurrence than the other platforms. The errors noted on the slide will be shown as how they could be presented on the screen. You will see the modified IP config output after DAD has impacted it. So let's take a look at the errors presented and the steps to overcome this interaction. We will start by looking at the output of the errors. What is represented on the screen is the Win7 laptop and a ping T to the services port IP address. Prior to starting the ping, I started the server with the System Platform DVD in the drive. The server is currently booting off of the DVD media. We are waiting for the ping reply to be able to tell it to the server to start the install. After a period of time, the CLI output shows a response of general failure that is followed thereafter by a pop-up of the Windows error. I have stopped the ping and cleared the screen. The first thing that I am doing is to run the ipconfig slash all command. In the output I want to point out a few things. The first thing is the word duplicate following the laptop side of the crossover cable IP address structure. The word duplicate is the result of the duplicate address detection interaction we are to overcome in the following procedure. The second thing I want to call out is one of two ways to identify the network interface index that will be used to modify the DAD transmits. That is identified on the screen as percent %18 as the last characters of the IPv6 link local address. IPv6 has multiple interfaces and the percent number as part of the v6 address structure can be seen in other interfaces as well. You should note the interface name as well for reference. The interface name highlighted is Local Area Connection 3. I am now entering into the NetSH utility, which is part of most of the recent Microsoft operating systems. NetSH allows for many different changes in the networking stack. The first thing that needs to be performed is to enter into the context of interface IPv4. I have just performed that command. Once in that context, I have entered the command show interface. That command displays the known IPv4 interfaces. The output provides a second way to identify the interface index needed to modify DAD transmits. Note the name in the fifth column, local area connection 3 and its index of 18 in the first column. 18 matches the number derived from the percent %18 shown in the IP config output originally shown. I am entering the command show interface 18 to look at the specific option that needs to be changed. That option is called DAD transmits. Its current value is 3. The command used to make the modifications is set interface 18 DAD transmits equals 0. After entering the command I have entered the show interface 18 command again to validate the change. The parameter is now set to 0 as shown. That change should take care of the interaction. We will now reset the server to load the install DVD once again. Returning back to the same view we had when the error originally appeared, I have started the ping minus T command to the services port IP address. The server has booted the RAM disk image and you are able to connect to the system platform installer to proceed with the installation.
The net SH changes were not made persistent and need to be set every time to allow the duplicate address detection to function under normal, typical conditions. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.